Hey all, Russ here, Rivera TV. Welcome. Check it out. Just got some fuel down here in the east end of Quartzsite. Make a left here on Regals. Town is packed. Everything's packed. Gonna cross over exit 19 here. We're gonna big, do a big loop around town. Then gonna head out to Plumosa Road. Gonna go find old hobo camp out there. Last big weekend of the tent. You can see it way off in the distance. That thing stands out, doesn't it? But big crowds this year. I've had a ton of fun meeting everyone, too. Thank you all for everyone I've met down here so far. Been a good time. Make a right here on Kewen and away we go. Best time to get parking down here is early. Try to get down here around uh, 830 in the morning. You'll get easy parking. After 9 o'clock, this place packs up big time. Yeah, I've been fighting some allergies. My voice gave out a couple days ago. I had to take a break here. <laughs> All right, here's Tyson Wells on the right. On the left is Prospectors. In about an hour, these aisleways will be packed full of people. They're just now starting to come in. That copper roof building's a Tyson Wells game store. Be sure to get in there and sign up for the raffle. That ends Sunday. But you can see down here on the right, there's where all the free parking is. A lot of people don't know. See where this yellow sign is? It says RV show. That's another way into the big tent. Also be careful if you park in the wash. You can get stuck. That gravel in the wash looks solid, but it's soft. You'll sink right in it. You need almost four wheel. Just be careful. Tow trucks love you if you don't. There's Desert Gardens. You know, after the big tent, these vendors, they pack up town almost comes back to normal but there's one more show arts and crafts at Tyson Wells starts first of February there's our exit 17 they got plans I guess they're gonna rework that thing they needed to for years across there there's Main Street Big pilot truck stop, Yuck Donald's, downtown area, Quartzsite. Now you'll see how big that 10 is. <laughs> it just stands out, doesn't it? 
in good old Q Mountain. Fuel has just hung in there. It dropped for a while, but now it's hanging right back up. Almost five bucks a gallon here. You know, it's cheaper in Parker. Get your fuel up there. Except for Arco now, down on the east end, they've been about 30 cents a gallon cheaper. But they sell out quick, too. All right, here we go. Exit 17. So you got to see both. <laughs> This thing gets so jammed up. Weather has been ah, chilly, we'll put it that way. But still January, but this year, uh, quite a few days in a row. Winds, cool weather, winds straight out of the north too, cools it down. We're still in the 50s during the day and at night, it's down in the 30s. A little unusual, they say about 8, 10 degrees below normal. Okay, here's Main Street. Fun time of year to be here in Quartzsite. Big shows, all the people, all the RVers. Met a lot of people that are in groups. They're camped out either at the long terms, LTVAs. Plamosa Road has quite a few groups too. We'll check that out when we get out that way. Here's your little downtown area of Quartzsite. I keep getting asked a lot, is there anything over here? Yes. For like uh, showgrounds, that yellow tank there, that's Vendors of Main Street. Back in there is uh, Ken's Grocery. Then k &B Tool, plus a bunch of small vendors. Be sure to check them out. I think there's some good food vendors in there too. Okay, guess what? We're going to get out of town. <laughs> oh, right there in the left, too. That's the high alley. Well, showground. You know, there they got the old rusted stuff. Rocks, antiques, table after table. It's right there next post office. All right. Let me get through this light, and we're going to head on out of town. Yeah, Tom, Hobo, Hobo Tech. They got a camp set up, but there are dozens and dozens of camps. So I'm going to show you how to get out there. I'll be out there on and off. I don't know exactly when. But we're going to go find it like right now. Oh, I also keep getting asked, where's the best place to get propane? Patty's Propane, down on East Main. Go see my buddy Devin. They got that uh, John's Barbecue down there, too. Really good food. Okay, made it to the end of town. Off to the right, when you see that building there, that's the Quartzsite Fire Department. Life Flight Helicopter, all that parks there. This is Tyson Drive. And this is the edge of Quartzsite. 
Formosa Road. Oh, we got about eight miles up this road. This is uh, Highway 95. We're heading north. And here we are. You know, I need to stop. We better do that now. I need to register, get my uh, camping permit. They all got a camp host out here. All you got to do is uh, this name, address, license plate, and the date you're going to stay out here. Then they give you uh, a copy to put up in the windshield. And that's right here off to the right, right when you pull in Pomosa. All right, let me go get one real quick. Be back. Okay, we're legal. Got to February 7th. 14 days free camping. And you just display it up in your windshield. Get back on Plumosa. Yeah, there's a lot of rigs out here. This is my favorite one out of all the areas around. Nice and flat, wide open, huge, huge area. Big rig friendly. Kind of out of the town of all the hustle bustle down there around all the tents and showgrounds. You can even catch a TV signal out here out of Phoenix. And cell coverage is pretty decent. So to get out here to Hobo Camp. There's mile markers. We're looking for mile marker two, and we just go past that about a quarter mile. But you can see rigs, huh? It's way out here. They are scattered. There's thousands of them out here. A lot of people put their little signs out here in the road. So you know where the groups are. I guess escapees got a huge group going out here. A lot of them have fires and functions. Okay, we just passed mile marker two. And we're gonna look for a little road to the left. Should be an orange sign and a pile of red rock. I'll show you once we get up here. Here it is. Okay, see that little pyramid shape? I think it's car getting past. That little pyramid shaped pile of rocks? That's it. And you got the BLM marker sign. And over here, see that little orange sign there? It says Hobo Camp. Now we're going to pull back here and cross through two washes and it'll be to the left. And here it is. Right past this uh, car here. We've got the little red tent. And this is Hobo Camp. You can come out here and meet Tom with Hobo Tech. Also, Stan with Saznak Channel. Big trucker channel. Does a lot of live streams. He's out here. Plus a lot of good people. They have campfires. Learn about solar. All kinds of good stuff.
Okay, there's Plumosa Road. Down where you see that motorhome driving. That's the road we just came in on. Then straight across, there's Hobo Camp. But look at all the rigs out here, huh? As far as you can see. ATV trails out here. The Peace Trail is just up the road. Quartzite Rock Sign. But this is what it's like to camp during the big shows on Plumosa Road. Pretty cool, huh? Now you know where it is. Hope to see you out here. Now what a group of bandits this is, huh? <laughs> we'll camp for food. Yeah. <laughs> Is it raining? No. It's just shade. Oh. It's a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> 